Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and boy have I got a treat for PC players and server owners today, and that is a brand new mod that has just hit the workshop, and well, let me just show you first. So, hmm, what could this be? Let's go inside this base. Oh, <laughs> look, we're underground. <laughs> oh, now I've built this um, gate here. And uh, I built, you know, I've put this various stuff down. I've built this flag to give it uh, permanence, and there's some wooden crates. But how cool is the, this? The ability to build underground bases on Daisy Community PC servers. Um, it's really, 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 really cool. Now, the way that it works, you know, to give away, I mean, close your ears now if you if you don't want to know. But you're not building an underground base down there underneath the ground. You're actually building it above the skybox up there. Um, but it has the same effect, it teleports you there. So what happens is, when you um, have a spade in your hand um, and you go somewhere flat, it'll give you the uh, trigger to build a base and you can build um, this basically uh, cover. And then what you need to do is you need to add the relevant bits. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to the, in the description below the video to the Daisy Workshop page, which rather handily has all the instructions about what you need. So you need six wooden logs, 99 nails, 40 planks, um, and a hatchet, and that will then do that. And then you can you go down into the base. I'm going to show you what the next level looks like in a second as well. And then you can upgrade that with six wooden logs, 99 nails, 20 sheet metal, and 40 planks. And with that, then with a the hatchet that upgrades it to level two, and the final level with six wooden logs, ninety-nine nails, twenty sheet metal, and five concrete blocks, um, you can then put a hatchet in your hands and upgrade it to level three. I'll also put a link to this rather handy underground base tutorial by Daisy Demerg, which goes through it step by step. Now, the thing I would say is it does take quite a while to do when you're digging and when you're using a hatchet. It's a couple of minutes for each one, so but you are getting something really cool at the end of it, aren't you? Um, so let's uh, quickly back. So that's kind of the thing. And the things you'll also want to have with you is you'll really want a gas lamp with a uh, gas bottle with it, uh, the gas can, or a torch or um, a flashlight or something like that because it is pitch black when you go into these things. So you can hang the light from the ceiling or use the torch to see where you go along. Now, if we nip over here, I'll kind of show you a little trick here. So when you build the first base, this, and you come down the hatch, this is what you see. So it's just like dirt with some wood around it. Um, and then you upgrade it with your uh, shovel and then you add the other stuff to, you know, to, to make it and then you use your hatchet. And then you get this, Oop, this one here, which is kind of, you can see the metal plates around it and you can see we've got a nice wooden floor. I think is it a little bit bigger? Might be a slight, like, slightly a little bit bigger. And then when you do the final upgrade, this is what you saw earlier you get this you get the nice concrete blocks um, sorry you come down that area you get the nice concrete box I don't know if it gets any bigger than this I don't know this is a work in progress so I'd imagine and it is modular so they could well extend it and expand it to have lots of other stuff as well um, you can as well lock the top of the base um, with uh, combination locks or with uh, code lock if you've got that modded in too. I had a go but it didn't quite work for me. Um, we can also add the camo net to the top of it as well. There we go. Um, obviously I've, I've chosen somewhere here where it's pretty obvious but if you would did it in some wood, a wooded area where there's some bushes around it, it could be quite hidden and as you could see in that particular base as well it, I'd added at least one gate but you could add a couple of gates to have a nice um, airlock sort of system couldn't you to protect your stuff so very very exciting so how do you install it well of course you're going to go over to steam and you're going to subscribe to the mod um luckily there and well i'm very good there's no dependencies i don't know if there's any other uh, things you got to watch out for in terms of it clashing with other mods but i highly recommend and i'll put a link in the description below the video to go and join their discord as well um because this mod is going to be updated fairly quickly, I would have thought. So things are going to change from what you see in this video. And then what you need to do is, when you fire up your DAISY loader, the launcher, sorry, what am I talking about? It will then <laughs> download the correct mod 
and then you need to upload that to your server so what you want to do is um, fire up your FTP program um, go to where the mods are held on your PC so it's normally in Daisy Workshop if you're not sure where that is what you can do is if we quit out of here I'll show you so let's quit out of here sorry if I'm uh, waffling a bit in this video but it is incredibly hot here in the UK I think it's got up to 30 degrees today which I know you might think well that's not that hot for the UK uh, it's pretty warm okay so here we go so we're in the daisy launcher there's underground bases if you click on the little arrow here and then click on the little three dots click on open folder in windows explorer say so i understand so this is where all the mods are if you left click up here at the top to get the address you can right click you can copy that you can go to your ftp program left click paste it into there and that will take you to exactly where they are now sometimes if you're going through the ordinary browser on your PC the workshop folder is often hidden so you have to change the settings so it's not hidden anymore um, connect to your remote site as you can see I have done here scroll all the way down oh, gosh I've got a lot of mods haven't I where are they underground braces so we'd right click we'd upload that to here as you can see I have already done it it's there um, and then we'll want the key so go into the keys folder on the uh, underground bases mod go into the keys folder on your server and you would right click upload that upload the key there um, you'll want to go to your server um, now this is nitrado so we don't have direct access to the windows batch file the dot bat file that starts it we just have an additional mod thing and as you can see i have added that with the incorrect thing it should be that so you see i've added at underground bases just there and we would save that and we also need to edit our types.xml otherwise these bases will just disappear on a server restart so go into missions into channel open up db if we open up types so you can normally do it within your ftp program so right click view and edit that will then fire up uh, in my case in notepad plus plus and then within the workshop folder for underground bases you'll see xml's so you can open that up as well and then you just copy the types bit here don't copy the top and the bottom bit just right click copy that go over to your types paste it in as i have here so let's just paste it in anyway that didn't work did it <laughs> whoops it's because i didn't copy it did i where are we there we go right click copy Go into there, control V, save that. That will then I say, do you want us to upload that new version? We say yes. So now we've got the types.xml. So we've uploaded the mod, we've added the key, we've added the types.xml, we've changed our um, uh, additional mods or dot bat file, and then, then we would restart the server and that would be good to go. Things to remember are the fact that you must um, do that type that XML thing or they'll disappear. Also, players must add a flagpole to it. Um, also, the other thing you probably will have to do, so you have to add a flagpole to it if you don't want it to despawn after, was it 40 days, isn't it, or something like that. You will also, uh, it's worth going into your CFG gameplay.json um, and going down to the base building data and changing most of it to true. I guess you don't really need disable is underwater true. But all the others change them to true um, and the advantage of that is that you'll be able to place items properly within the underground base if you don't they tend to be in the middle um, that may well change as the mod gets updated and get changed but for now for now it work i tell you it works very very well i mean my only feedback would be to the devs to shelby if you're watching um is that could we please have a config file um uh, like a settings file so that we maybe we could change the time it takes to build stuff so we can make it a little bit faster or we could make it a little bit longer you know so maybe it takes 10 minutes to dig this massive hole or you know like 30 seconds <laughs> would be good for me um and maybe also within that config you could restrict um the uh, the types of bases that you get so maybe you could only have like level one bases but anyway that that's other stuff the main one is the time it takes to build stuff um, if we could have a config for that that would be marvelous 
Anyway, Underground Braces, well done Shelby, fantastic. Make sure you subscribe to it, check it out. Uh, put it on your test servers, put it on your public servers, and um, I'm sure people are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Anyway, that's enough for me. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.